Hey, this is Michael Berger here with Angle TV. We're at the 2012 NAMM show. I'm here with Vivian Campbell, one of our most amazing top endorsees. Vivian, how are you doing? I'm well, thank you. Nice to be here. We just did a signing session with Vivian and it was unbelievable. The line went all the way around the booth. So that went well. Vivian, you've been with us now probably half a year. Yes. We've been testing some um, cabinets and rack gear before the last um, run you did with Def Leppard. How did it go on the road playing with the band and using angle equipment in your rack? It went great. It didn't break or anything despite my tax best intentions. Um, yeah, it went good. We, uh, we ran the cabs and the par amps on this tour and we've been uh, going back and forth on the preamps and dialing those in and by the next Leopard tour uh, we'll have a full angle rig. Wow, that sounds amazing. I know you're using uh, rack gear only but we have this new retro amp which is something I wanna, want you to try at some point, not only for the Leopard but maybe for, um, who knows, all your other projects. So we should try that. So what's, what's your next plans? What's Steph Leppard doing next? Are you going out on the road again? We are actually going to go out again this summer in America and probably uh, South America later in the year. We're trying to do Mexico and South America. Um, we, uh, we have a couple of songs featured in the, the Rock of Ages movie uh, starring Tom Cruise and a host of others. That's coming out this summer and we're going to ride those coattails. <laughs> Interesting. That's great. So you're touring... Um, which parts of the world are you touring? Well, last year we did America, we did Japan, Australia, New Zealand, and a couple of weeks in England. Um, we'll certainly do America again this summer, and we'll try and get to uh, back into Europe. We might do some European festivals. They're, they're rooting the tour right now, so I don't have specific dates yet. And like I said, towards the end of the year, we're way overdue to go back to uh, Mexico and South America. Oh, that could be uh, insane. I hear you're playing with Steel Panther tonight at the uh, House of Blues. Yeah, is that true? That is true. Um, and I'm going to do Rainbow in the Dark, the old Dio song, which I haven't played in 30 years. It's funny, I've actually I've been watching YouTube all week, watching other people play my solo to try and learn how to play it, because it was, uh, like I said, it was 30 years ago, and, and it, was, it was a spontaneous, a one-take solo. So I don't think I ever really played it exactly the same way twice. So I've been trying to practice all week, and. Uh, I had to put some lighter strings on my last ball. I even dug out my old uh, Dio last ball, 729875337. Wow. <laughs> You're using 11s on, on, on Leopard, right? Uh, uh, string gauge. No, I actually use 13s, but, but we detune a half step, so it's okay for that. Um, to go concert pitch, I'd have to go down to 11s, yeah. That was one of, Rainbow in the Dark, one of the most classic solos you know it's 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 a fantastic solo it's a wacky solo there's there's no logic to it so it's uh you gotta just drink a lot of espresso before playing that one you know? thanks vivian thank you so much we're honored to have you on board no worries, and um i'm glad it all worked out here with the signing all right thanks a lot michael berger at angle tv